Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stop PHP execution inside of the uploads folder on your WordPress site. Now what hackers often do is when they gain access through a vulnerable plugin or a vulnerable theme, they will upload files to certain parts of your WordPress directories and some files, they often go into the uploads folder. Now inside the uploads folder, there should be nothing but stuff that you upload through the media center or through plugins like Revolution Slider or uh, some kind of photo gallery plugin. They would upload images or PDF files to the uploads folder and there should never be any PHP execution there. And if there is a PHP file in the uploads folder, chances are your site's been hacked at some point. And so I'm gonna show you how to insert a small piece of code into a special HT access file that will prevent any files that aren't of a certain extension to be uploaded in the uploads folder. So what we're gonna say is only files are JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, PDFs, and you can, you can uh, see the logic in the code so you can add your own file extensions as needed, but only those certain files will be allowed to be uploaded into that uploads folder. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. We're currently logged into our HostGator hosting account I'm going to scroll down until I find the file manager option, which is right here. In the window that opens, I'm going to select document root 4 and for the website that we're securing, which in this case is wp-phd.com, I'm going to click on go. And then it brings us to the web root and you notice the standard HT access files in the web root, but that's not the one we want to work with. We're going to put an HT access file into the uploads folder. So what we're gonna do is double click on wp-content to open that folder and then click on uploads or double click on uploads to open that folder. And this shows all the folders inside the uploads folder. And you do the same thing via FTP as well. Just log into your FTP client, navigate to this folder. And then we're gonna to need to create a new file in the file manager, it's this button at the top left that says a new file. We will call it ht or dot ht access. And there's our new file. And we highlight the file by clicking on it, then we click on edit. And we're gonna paste this simple piece of code. Actually, it's not that simple, but we'll just copy and paste that code. You can find it right below this video. And you can just copy and paste it. So this, this code is actually saying two things. It's saying only files that are JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs, and PDFs are allowed. And also what's not allowed is a trick hackers often use where they add a, they take a PHP file and they just add .jpeg at the end. So it looks like an image file by the file name, but it's actually a PHP file. So what this code also does, it prevents files from being uploaded that have two different extensions. For example, a file name .php .png is an example of a file name a hacker might upload into your uploads folder. And this code actually prevents that from happening. It prevents two periods inside of the file name so that double extension is not allowed. So the only way uploads can be uploaded into the upload folder once this HT access code is in place is if that is a PNG file, a JPEG file, a GIF file, or a PDF file. And you can see the logic in here. So we have a, a pipe character. I'll show you how to add a new one in case you wanna do that. We add a pipe character and then we do the square brackets. And let's say we wanna add a MP4 file. Just do uppercase and lowercase m, new square brackets, uppercase and lowercase p, and then square bracket four. So that will also allow MP4 files to be uploaded just in case you're uploading videos to your media folder as well, or via the, the media center inside the WordPress dashboard. So that's how easily you can extend that list to fit your needs. And that's how you can block hackers from uploading malicious files into your uploads folder and executing those and ruining your website. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass in WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.